Hey, welcome back everyone, Kareem here. So today we're going to be lightly broaching the subject of um, R&D for offers, research and developing our offers. When I say broaching, I mean we're not going to be doing a deep dive. I'm going to have to come back in later on and jump into my screen and everything and show you exactly what I mean. But for now, this should do. So here we go. I'm going to jump right in. I'm going to be doing a little bit of reading off screen here, so forgive me. <clears throat> so method one is just to do a Google search for quote, X niche challenges. So we're doing this. Um, let's use the example of um, damage restoration. So you can just go to google.com and type in damage restoration challenges and scour through looking for articles that lift surveys in that industry that discuss things like projected growth, current industry fairs, of course, you know, present day challenges in that niche, like finding qualified leads, hiring qualified staff and retaining them, for example. Um, this stuff is gold because we can use it to craft, craft our own offer. Method two. Method two is Facebook's ad library. So essentially, we get a spy on a competition. Um, again, I'm not going to go into too much detail here about how to use the actual tool itself, but it's pretty intuitive. If you just go to um, Google and type in Facebook ad library, you just input what country you want to search in and search for that niche, for X niche. That quoted niche earlier um, could be real estate. Here, I'm using the example of um, damage restoration. So... For me personally, I'd use USA for country, and since I'm in the United States, put damage restoration as the keywords and hit search. So this is an excellent way to spy on what ads are currently running and or working for the competition so you can take their offer and make it better. That's the whole point here. What we want to do is observe the market better, not necessarily just rip off their ad creatives, um, structure, their copy, their ad copy word for word. Um, we just want to use it as inspiration. Like That's a better approach here. Because we are competing after all, and you just come in with the exact same thing. We don't want to end up doing like a race for the bottom type thing where everybody's offering the exact same thing. It just becomes a commodity, you know. Everybody's just in it for the utility, and they will drive the prices down when it comes time to sell this service. So method number three here, I'm just going to read it, is scouring Reddit. So similar to method one, which is simply a Google search, um... You can just Google search um, X niche challenges. We're going to do the exact same thing um, using the Google search, but this time we replace the word challenges with the word Reddit. So um, instead of X niche challenges, we put X niche Reddit. So um, damage restoration challenges turns into damage restoration Reddit. And so you're going to get a whole bunch of Reddit threads. A ton of results will come up with people who've already... Um, who are already in this niche, giving advice to newcomers to the industry, asking for advice from veterans, and <laughs> complaining about pain points the industry has. One the thing to look out for here, though, is that you'll get a ton of old threads in it, which is what I noticed with Reddit, and in those searches, so you have to dig a little deeper through them, you know, just to see if you want to get something within, like, the past year. A lot of times you'll find a lot of results from, like, the past four or five years in there. Not always the best stuff to go with. And um, yeah, there you go. So that's three methods to learn more about a particular niche to craft a better offer. Um, this is Kareem. Again, don't forget to like and subscribe and also follow me on Instagram. Links in the description below. And uh, peace. See you tomorrow.